this is the only AI tool that I'm using for creative production. It's called Arcad's AI. So I already have account, so I'm gonna walk you through the process. So basically you can add a script. I already have the script, let's say for my video YouTube, for one of my previous YouTube videos. So when you paste it, it tells you how many characters you have. The limit is uh, 1,500, which is usually what I would like to be a bit longer because sometimes some longer videos we have to chop up into multiple videos. But basically when you define your script, you click here, add actors, you have a lot of possibilities. What I like is that you have a lot of filters that you can uh, do in terms of the age, order, situation, accessorize. When you hover over each of the characters, you can see how they sound. Hey you, welcome to Arcades. Natural AI actors you can use for your app. So basically, let's say mostly for UGC videos, you would like someone either informal or formal, uh, whether like it is themed, like let's say Christmas. Hey you, welcome to Arcads. But hey say, you. for my YouTube video, we want probably someone who's a bit more serious or like in a podcast style. Hey you, welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural. You can also pick uh, based on accessories, emoji, even skin tones. So let's say someone like this. Hey you. Welcome to Arcads. I'm one of the natural AI actors you can use. You can add actors and also you have a settings that you can adjust speed, stability or similarity. If you feel it's too slow, you can increase the speed to 1.5, 1.3 or whatever. Usually I like to leave it as it is because it makes sense uh, why it's set up that way. You can also add multiple actors. Let's say we have that Vincent guy. Let's add another. Okay, you can save the changes. Uh, when you can click here upload it to generate the video I would just delete one of these so basically you use credits for each of the video when you generate the video you can see the preview and uh, then you have a full video that you can actually download and use it as a regular video or what we like to do is download the video and use it as a talking head you know that besides the actual uh, UGC uh, video also Sometimes it's not perfect uh, because you would see some of the lip syncs is not right. But then if you add it into multiple mashups, uh, multiple person into mashup, it looks it looks pretty great. So mostly we use it either for mashups or for authorities. So basically, let's say you're in pet space and you want someone who's a veterinarian, you can create a video of someone that, that has a pet, that has a dog, and then you can put this AI avatar as, a, as an authority. Uh, this tool is great compared to all, all the other tools because the voice of AI is good and it does not sound fake. Even if you use it just for a voiceover, it sounds pretty good. As I showed you, the system is pretty easy to navigate there's no training needed you just pick whatever settings that you need either a background or accessorize or a skin tone what i like is that most avatars do not look artificial which is not really common with all the other ai tools even their hand movements like counting on fingers is uh, what makes them realistic which is not the case with other tools uh, which usually even for image generation you feel and see that this is not a real person i like the selection of the avatars and uh, what I really like about the project and the tool is that, for example, we asked for multiple male authorities that are seniors and they added that with a couple of days, uh, which is not support that you usually get. Some of the, I would not say bad things, but drawbacks is that sometimes the voiceover has uh, pauses or uh, it's a bit slower. Then you have to manually adjust the script and like adjust the commas or like exclamation point or stuff like that. As I said, although the body movement is usually good, sometimes mouths are out of sync, especially when there's an open mouth. As I mentioned, I would like them to have over 1,500 characters, uh, especially for the longer videos, which most of our videos are. So basically, if we have a longer video, we have to chop it up into two or three scripts. And basically, the last thing that I would like to have a ability to have to change a background because like sometimes I find a guy that I like to use in my ad, but like he's in library and that the setting does not really fit my theme of the video or the product uh, that I'm advertising. So basically, as I mentioned, this is the only AI tool that I'm using for ad creation. And as I said, mostly we use it for whitelisting and mashups. It's a great way to create, let's say, authorities if you don't have access to one because they're mostly 
are pretty expensive to collaborate. So this way it's easy to test an angle with the AI authority as that way you would have that talking head in a, in a full video. I hope you like this. If you guys have any additional questions about uh, using archives, just let me know in the comments. If not, just like and subscribe for more useful content like this.